Sometimes when I'm working out at home, I may want to challenge myself and make the exercise a little more difficult. And I can do that by combining exercises. So I'm gonna use a resistance band and we're gonna do two movements in one. We're gonna do a squat and then we're gonna do a wide grip pull down, okay? So proper form for a wide grip pull down, and I have another video on this, would be to be kneeling on the ground, holding the band, not at the bottom, not where the handles are, because there's not enough resistance there, a little higher up. And from here, I'm just gonna pull down and pull my elbows into my sides. Go back up. Breathe out, in, out, in. That's what the pull down part looks like, okay? But I'm also gonna squat. So a proper squat would look like this, holding onto the band. So the cool thing is, is that I'm working a whole bunch of muscles here. I'm working my lats, my biceps, my rhomboids in between my shoulder blades, my upper trapezius in my upper back and my rear deltoid muscles as I do this pull down. But as I'm squatting, quads, glutes, hamstrings, lots of stuff going on. And the tricky part of this is this is more of an advanced move because you're going to do the pull down at the bottom of the motion. Okay, so you're going to pause at the bottom when you're squatting and you're going to do the pull down there. Brief note on squats, I've got videos on how to squat, but let's go over it here. Toes are pointed out about 10 to 15 degrees, your heels are shoulder width apart, and you're descending trying to get parallel to the ground. If you have near hip problems and you can't do that, talk to your trainer. He may have you go shallower. He may not have you squat, or she, sorry, as well, may not have you squat at all, okay? You want to be very careful. You want to protect those knees and protect those hips, okay? But ideally, if you're strong enough, you have a strong enough core, and your knees are healthy, your hips are healthy, you go down to parallel, okay? You keep a tight core, chest is out and expanded, with your shoulder blades pulled together, and you're looking straight ahead. Okay, not really pulled together, just a little bit. So the squat looks like this. My hips go back and they come forward. My knees and hips bend at the same time. They straighten at the same time. Breathe in, out. Okay, that's the squat. So let's put them together, okay? So we're gonna do a wide grip pull down at the bottom of the squat. Here's what it looks like. So you see, it's a great way of increasing tension on the squat, because you've got to pause at the bottom there, but also working your upper back, okay? So there it is, wide grip pull down, squat combo with a resistance band.